Amidst the glory and grandeur of Athens, there lies a sad chapter in its history, a tale of darkness and terror that sends chills and fills even the bravest of hearts with fear. It was a time when tyrants ruled with iron fists and the laws of morality were twisted and distorted beyond recognition. Among these dark times, one ruler stood out, Phalaris, a man whose name became synonymous with evil and cruelty. To establish his reign of terror, he commissioned a monstrous contraption, the Brazen Bull. This invention would forever leave an ugly scar in the hearts of Sicilians. As we journey back into this haunting history, prepare yourself for the Brazen Bull is not just a mere instrument of torture, but a sinister creation that will fill your mind with visions of unspeakable horror and despair. Some of the things discussed in this video may be offensive or disturbing. Viewer discretion is advised. In the old days, when the Acragus of Sicily was ruled by the infamous Valeris, terror and fear were his constant companions. This wicked ruler, whose reign spanned from 570 to 554 BC, was entrusted with building the Temple of Zeus at Iberios in the Citadel. Instead, he seized the opportunity and made himself the land's ruler. Phalaris was known for his insatiable thirst for blood and his love of cannibalism, especially his depraved pleasure in killing and eating babies. His tyranny was so absolute that anyone who dared to cross him was condemned to a gruesome and painful death, earning him the Tyrant of Acragas. Amidst the prevailing atmosphere of fear that permeated the court of Phalaris, the court sculptor, Perilos of Athens, lived and worked. Knowing the possible danger ahead, Perilos sought to impress Phalaris by creating an invention that would win his favor. He thought long and hard, trying to devise the perfect innovation that would appeal to Phalaris's twisted mind. At last, Perilos hit upon the idea of creating a glorified burning pot in the shape of a bull, complete with a sound system that would mimic the bellowing of a raging bull. Excited by the prospect of impressing Phalaris, Perilos presented his idea to the tyrant, who was delighted and instructed Perilos to make the bull so that its smoke would rise in spicy clouds of incense. So, Perilos set about creating the brazen bull, a hollow bronze sculpture with a door on one side. Its head was designed with a system of tubes that would convert the prisoner's screams into sounds like the bellowing of a raging bull. Some believe that Valeris had asked Perilos to craft a savage instrument of death to satisfy his insatiable thirst for bloodshed. According to some accounts, Valeris provided Perilos with detailed specifications for constructing the bull, leaving no room for doubt about its intended purpose as an instrument of torture and execution. However, it is said that Valeris never asked Perilos to include the invention of the sound system in the brazen bull and was disgusted by the proud genius of the inventor. When Perilos presented the brazen bull to Valeris, hoping to gain his favor and receive a reward, he sang its praise, saying, His screams will come to you through the pipes as the tenderest, most pathetic, most melodious of bellowings. However, the tyrant was outraged by Perilus's boastfulness and tricked him into testing the sound system of the bull. Unknown to Perilus, he had prepared a vicious tool in whose hands he would first taste the sad glimpse of death. As Perilus entered the brazen bull, Valerius instructed his soldiers to shut the door and set fire to the bull. 
and as the heat began to rise, filling the hollow bronze structure with intense, unbearable heat, the screams of Perlos echoed through the tubes. The haunting roar of the raging bull was heard, filling the air with the sounds of suffering. Meanwhile, Phalaris watched in fascination as his latest creation consumed the inventor, the flames licking at his skin, relishing the thought of this new addition to his notorious punishment collection. However, before the bull could entirely consume Perlos, the tyrant resolved to spare him from the grasp of his creation. So he released him from the bull, but instead ordered his soldiers to take him to the top of a hill where he was thrown off and left to die. And that's how the infamous reign of terror began under the shadow of the brazen bull. Any who dared to oppose Valeris or refuse to follow his commands would be condemned to a fate worse than death. Captured enemies were thrown into the bull, the fire stoked to sufficient heat, and the bodies slowly roasted alive while their screams echoed through the city, their agonies transforming into the growls of a bull. Legend has it, Phalaris would then order the bowl to be opened, revealing the charred remains of his victims, the bones of which he would turn into bracelets, which were said to shine like precious jewels. But fate has a way of coming full circle, and in a twist of irony, Phalaris himself perished at the hands of his most cherished invention. In 554 BC, Valeris was overthrown by Telemachus, the ancestor of another tyrant, Theron, would rule in 1488 BC. As a prisoner of Telemachus, Valeris was subjected to his own brazen bull, his screams adding to the horrible melody of his creation. And after the death of Phalaris, the brazen bull has been passed down from one ruler to the next, changing hands, cities, and ages, carrying with it a dark memory that still haunts the people wherever it went. During the medieval Roman dynasty of Nerma Antonine, Hadrian ascended to the throne. Born into a family of nobility in the city of Italica on January 24, 76 AD, he was the son of a highly respected senator and the first cousin of Emperor Tarjan, who reigned before him. Though not known for his viciousness, Hadrian was far from being the best of rulers. He was a cult bigot who built several cult centers and temples for the many gods and goddesses, but never truly believed in the doctrine of Christianity. Like his predecessor Tarjan, he did not actively seek out Christians, but persecuted them for refusing to swear oaths. His first victim was Placidus, famously known as Saint Eustace, a pagan Roman general who despised the Christian religion, but later converted to Christianity after encountering the divine. During a hunt, Placides had a vision of a cross and heard a divine voice prophesizing his misfortune. He converted to Christianity, taking the name Eustathios, but tragedy struck when he lost his wealth and all his estates. He and his family fled to Egypt, but could not pay the ship's passage fee, leading to the ship's captain taking his wife, Theopisti, while Eustathios and his sons fled. During their escape, Eustathios' sons were separated from him, and he believed them to be dead. Years later, luck fell upon him, when he was called back to Rome by Hadrian to fight the barbarians. Eustathios and his sons were reunited, with his sons now serving in his army. Just when he thought fate was done with him, Eustathios and his sons reunited with his wife, who had sheltered them after a battle. But when Hadrian succeeded Tarjan, he asked Eustathios to sacrifice to the gods. Eustathios refused, as it was against his Christian faith, his insubordination angered Hadrian, leaving him to instruct Eustathios and his family to be thrown into the lion's den. Miraculously, the lions humbled themselves before Eustathios and his family, resting at their feet. 
This only angered Eustathios more, leading Hadrian to instruct that they be brought out and burned in the brazen bowl. According to the Greek account, some Christians recovered their bodies secretly and buried them after their death, eventually elevating them to saints. Meanwhile, French history reports that they died, but their bodies were left unburned and untouched by the flames when the brazen bull was opened. In the history of the great Roman Empire, few rulers were as tyrannical and as ruthless as Emperor Nero, whose oppressive reign lasted from 54 AD to 68 AD. During this time, countless souls were condemned to death for daring to question his authority. None were spared his wrath, not even the faithful followers of the Christian faith. The Christian faithful were among the most targeted groups under the emperor's reign, but none were more viciously persecuted than the Antipas of Caesarea, who John the Apostle had ordained as Bishop of Pergamon. Antipas worked tirelessly to do the Lord's work, casting out demons wherever he went. However, his actions would not go unpunished, as he dared to cast out a demon popularly worshipped by the community, which angered Nero, a fierce opponent to the Christian faith. In a rage, Nero ordered Antipas to be killed in the most brutal manner imaginable. The bishop was thrown inside the brazen bull a terrifying device that roasted its victims alive, turning their screams and cries into the sound of a bull. And when Antipas died, he became a martyr for the Christian cause, earning him the title of Saint Antipas. Tragically, these four men were not the only victims of the brazen bull, as countless others were condemned to this horrifying fate by various rulers throughout medieval times. The mere thought of being thrown into the heated sculpture, roasted alive like a chicken in the oven, sends shivers down one's spine. Don't you think so? Or is there any other punishment more insane and notorious than the brazen bull? Let us know in the comments section below. So there you have it. That will be all for today. If you like our video, let us know your thoughts in the comments section below. And remember to hit that subscribe button. Until we come your way again next time with an insane story. Bye for now.